So today we're gonna to be going over the operation and the installation of our PWM fan controller. In your kit, you'll get the fan controller itself. It'll come with two different sensors, a push probe one that you see here and an NPT sensor. It'll come with hardware to mount the controller in your engine bay. And it'll come with this wiring diagram to give you a reference of how to wire everything up. On the controller itself, there's a couple different wires here. So red and black, red's gonna be your positive, black's your negative. These are gonna go directly to your battery. Um, yellow is going to be your output signal that's going to go to your fan positive wires. And then this green one is, it's optional, but if you want to have an AC override, uh, so when you're using your air conditioning, um, it'll kick your fans on even before the engine comes up to temperature. You could also hook this to a switch and have a manual override if you want. Then you're going to take your wires and choose whatever um, wire connections or terminals are going to work best for your application. So. I just stuck ring terminals on the positive and negative cables here. And now these, the positive and negative from the controller, they both need to go directly to your battery. Um, you don't wanna put the negative cable on a chassis ground or anything because you wanna make sure you get a clean signal to the controller here. We're using this inverter as a battery today, so we'll just attach that here. Same thing with the negative down here. And then for our, our fan signal wire, I just put this plug on here to match up with the plug on our fans. Um, so you can run as many fans as you want as long as it doesn't exceed 50 amps uh, total. Um, so you could either do one fan, two fans, three fans, whatever you need. Um, if you're doing more than one fan, uh, you're gonna wanna just splice your fan positive wires together and negative wires together. Your positive wires from your fan, they're gonna connect to this yellow cable from the fan controller. Um, and your negative fan wires, you can either connect them to a chassis ground or run them back to the battery. Right here, I just added a, a cable with a ring terminal, so I'll run that from our fans back to the battery to ground. Next, you're gonna install your sensor. Um, so you can either use uh, the push probe sensor or the NPT sensor. Um, if you're gonna use the NPT sensor, you can either thread that into a port that you already have tapped, or you can tap your own port on your radiator tank. Whatever sensor you use, you wanna have the sensor as close to your radiator outlet as possible. So our outlet tube's right here, so I'm gonna just pick a row of fins near here and just stick this push probe into there. So now that sensor will now read the temperature of the coolant as it's coming out of the radiator. Take your other end and then connect that back to the plug that is on your fan controller harness. So now that you have everything all wired up, uh, you're gonna wanna mount your controller somewhere in your engine bay. Um, you can mount this circuit breaker as well with the provided hardware. Um, just don't mount this too close to anything that's gonna get extremely hot like your exhaust. Um, the controller does have built-in overheating protection, so if it does overheat, it'll automatically shut off before it gets damaged. Um, and the controller itself is IP66 rated, so you don't have to worry about water or dust or anything getting inside. Um, so once you have that mounted, to adjust the, the settings on this controller, you can pull out this rubber plug here. And then there will be a dial inside of here that will adjust the temperature that your fans will kick on at. So you're gonna need a small screwdriver like this one here. And you can use that to go in and adjust the setting at which your fans will initially kick on. Once the sensor reads your coolant at that temperature, your fans will kick on at 10% speed. And then as the temperature increases, your fans will slowly ramp up until they reach 100% speed and they'll adjust themselves to maintain that coolant temperature that you set. So once you have that set, just pop this rubber plug back in. and your controller should be good to go.